we're done with the farm build let's jump in and take a look at it so we've got all of our cattle over here on the right hand side with milk and slurry getter uh, definitely forgot to put the manure thing down. We'll figure that out. Uh, over here, we've got where our truck and tractor are in. And then we close that. We could get our other tractor out, which is pretty cool. Coming over here, we have our telehandler in this little area. I was going to put the pickup truck, but telehandler works great. Both of our harvesters are in here. And then we got our three large trailers here. Uh, really don't need this anymore because we're not doing bales. So... Yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. I've also sold our small John Deere cedar and we've sold the baler altogether as well. So all of that's gone. We don't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I do need to get in here and take care of the cattle to make sure that we have a manure place. So I may have to delete some of these trees, but yeah, I think we're okay. And I just actually found the perfect spot Spot for the manure heap right here, right about there. Right about here? Yeah, right about there. Bam! <laughs> so I've got that pole going through there. We've got this tree here. It doesn't clip in anything over there. I mean, it's just barely in there. Yeah, man, that's perfect. And then all I gotta do is back a trailer up over here, auto load into that. We're good, dude. We're good. Yes. I do want to paint the inside of this dirt brown just cause I feel like it's weird if it's not like a mud or a dirt color. It just feels weird not being that. Come out a little bit too. Yeah. And that I think now just about does it. However, we still got stuff we got to do. I still need to give the cattle food. So let's figure out how we're going to do that. I think I got an idea. The multi-buying fruit station is probably the easiest mod to use for pretty much anything. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just so simple and easy to use. So I'm going to place down right there and we need to get ourselves a dump truck. So we'll go and move this open sesame. Yeah, <laughs> man. This is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I love having buildings like this and especially for this series, not having anything. It's been a bit awkward, if I'm honest, not having any buildings to park anything in. This is a little bit better. And I know this is cheating, but you know what? It's cheap and, and it works. So whatever. I mean, a hundred thousand liters of TMR is 3,100 bucks. That's it's pretty ridiculous is what it is. So all I got to do is back this up over here and dump it in. Should get the trigger soon. There it is. And we'll feed the cattle. We'll go ahead and take a look here and see how much it fills up. Well, 100,000 liters didn't do much. I may give them another little, uh, little bit here and then we'll give them a load of straw. And from there, I think we'll be all right. So cattle are looking good. We got 100,000 liters of straw, 400,000 liters of food, which is I think at about half capacity right now. Uh, and that will work just fine. So the next bit, we're gonna have to fertilize and we're going to have to get everything ready to go for the field. So we're gonna be planting grass in our main fields, at least around the farm. That way we can, well, not have to spend all our money on feed for these guys and they will start to produce manure and slurry and milk and we can all take that and sell it so canola is doing fine so these are the areas right here that we are going to be using for the grass fields now we've still got uh, close to half a million dollars right now so i don't know if we want to try and go find another field as well i mean we're we're kind of doing all right on everything i don't I don't actually know. Get, currently got the, the, the hiccup, so you can just ignore me. But yeah, I don't know. That field across the edge is starting to look pretty good, but maybe we should keep it to maybe not massive amounts of farming, at least to start with here, at least on this first, uh, first series. First of, I think, three series we'll be doing 30 episodes total. We'll find out and see, but I think uh, I think we're all right right now. Now that the fertilizer is all done, now I've got to open this back up. This is going to get little bit long, uh, long winded here, opening and closing the same garage over and over again. But you know what? Yeah, whatever. It'll work just fine. Grab ourselves a cedar and we'll set this to grass. 
Now all you gotta do is plant everything in and we'll be good to go. Drop it down and turn it on. There we go. Grass seed is going in the ground, baby. Let's rock and roll. One thing, it is getting a little bit dark. I did have to stop the clock on zero time just so I can get this work done. All I gotta do is get some fertilizer in the ground and then I'm gonna be done. And probably gonna be done until springtime. I do not foresee anything changing with this until spring. There we go. Okay. We'll double check. Make sure there's no little bits or bobs. I think we're all right. I think everything's good. Just need to spray all this down one more time and go boop. I should probably get some, some uh, <laughs> bridges through there. That might work a little bit better. All right. Slowly but surely. And there we go. We are done and we can get out of here let's get everything folded up we'll go ahead and put this back onto the farm hopefully we get it folded up by the time we get past all this that way i don't hit nothing there we go perfect bring it in am i gonna get lucky oh, oh, oh yeah one take baby turn it off get out of here shut the door it is on bye now everything is set and ready to go go december is usually the last time that we're able to actually do any bit of harvesting so i do want to check and see if our canola is going to be ready for harvest but i don't think that it's gonna be it could be it could and if it is well we're gonna have a bit of work to do oh boy that uh that does not look like it is ready to harvest sweet Oh man, all this is though. What is, oh no, nope, those are red. No, 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 no. We will see you in the spring, man. Nope, I might've forgot that I actually have animals to take care of. So let's double check. All right, in here we've got 65,000 liters of manure and the liquid silo, there is absolutely nothing. So the slurry in the milk is not going in there for whatever reason. So that we need to figure out out i don't know why is it because there's no extension maybe we'll do the silo extension is that uh is that the cause of this i think possibly it might be if i remember correctly one of these one of these works like that but i don't know how we're definitely losing money right now not having the cows produce any milk so that's gonna be that not gonna be that is quite dangerous hey that was it so uh wow overnight we got twenty one thousand liters of milk and forty five thousand liters of slurry that is insane how are we doing on food food's still okay straw's still okay so that makes me happy yeah milk and slurry all right we're doing good dude we're doing good let's take a look at the manure looks like there's already a hundred thousand liters in there dude you cows have been pooing a lot dude <laughs> The moo indeed. Uh, I do think that we're ready to harvest, but we're going to have to let all this stuff sit for a minute. Nope, still not even ready to harvest yet. Okay, so uh, see, it's February now, maybe March, April. Should be a good time. Nope, March has snow everywhere. Nope, not dealing with that. Um, so it's April. Yeah. <laughs> and there's still snow everywhere, dude. Uh, I know they said there was going to be a plenty of snow, but goodness gracious. Uh, <laughs> and now we're ready for harvest. I've got to double check if it's still 26 degrees right now, but it does look like it's going to be warming up throughout the day. I don't want to wait all the way until May. Maybe if we let time go a little bit into the day maybe just maybe all this snow could melt uh, dude <laughs> there's just an exorbitant amount of snow everywhere uh, obviously over there somewhere somebody has harvested their field or fer fertilized it plowed it up something of course there's no snow in half of those oh there goes a layer of snow but is it gonna be enough <gasps> The snow, it's gone. Yes. <laughs> I think we could get to work and I think the grass is ready to be mowed as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we have enough time today though 
Tune in for the next one. Speaking of that next one, let's talk about what we're going to be doing. Well, obviously we need to handle our cattle because they're going to need some food and they're going to need, uh, well, maybe we can take that milk and sell it. We'll make a little bit of cash. Speaking of cash, we have $669,000. Nice. Three fields. Well, two fields and a little oomph of grass here. Plus, we have a lot of canola that needs to be swathed. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot to, to, well, a lot to do. Uh, the canola is going to be interesting and it's going to be fun because we're going to swath every single bit of this. Then we're going to harvest it up. I do have Yost Modding's extended straw crops mod turned on. So we're going to take the straw from the straw and make straw with it and then use that straw to sell the straw. And if you missed that, well, tune into the next episode because it'll all be explained then.